I'm seeing so here. So has she decided whether she's going to violate this quarantine or not? She is not going to agree to the restrictions that they placed on her. If they get the court order, then we will go to court and, and we will fight. challenge it. And if she wins her case, she walks free. Will she seek other damages? That's something that we'll consider. I think Casey is, in my opinion, an impressive American. Mm -hmm. She's very knowledgeable of this issue. The main concern is that her voice and the voice of people in the health community in this country, that they should be part of this debate. This debate should not be led and directed by the politicians. It should yes. be led and directed by the medical community. And, and on the medical community, you know, some people that, that, that don't understand this, don't see the way you see this or Casey sees this, they say, look, Ebola has hit healthcare workers harder than anyone else. 244 of them have died, the same percent even higher than Ebola hitting the general population uh, in these countries. Uh, let me just make my point here. A doctor came back to New York. Of course, he thought he had taken every precaution. He wouldn't have been at home with his fiance exposing her if he didn't think so, right? Of course, he thought he had done everything. So not everybody knows. Right. whether they were necessarily exposed or not. And I, I guess the question I just want to ask is if people should trust healthcare workers implicitly. So that's why some people say, why wouldn't they just have a quarantine? After all, they're told not to go to work for 21 days. Why not just stay home? Because we believe in principle in this country. We believe in the Constitution. Yeah. And the government can't take away your liberty unless there is some compelling basis for it. It doesn't exist here. The mm -hmm. myth, number one, is that if... For 10 days, someone doesn't have the symptoms. On the 11th day, they get the fever. Those first 10 days when they're interacting with people in the public, they are not putting those people in jeopardy. Right. And if the politicians would explain that and stop playing political games, we could deal with this in a medical way, not in a political way.